Okay, and we're live. Okay, hello, welcome. And uh, just trying to just get everything set up. I'm mostly prepared today, okay? Not nearly as ill-prepared as I was yesterday. I've found that when I pause it on my computer, <coughs> when I pause the stream on my computer, I stop. When I pause the stream on my computer, um, it, it gives me greater bandwidth so that um, I can do this easier so that I can um, stream with, with fewer problems. Sejin is here immediately! Cool! Hello, Sejin! Welcome! Um, so glad you could join us. Let me see if I can get this viewer count to work right off the bat. Let's see what we've got here. Viewer count. And I wonder if I can, oh no, no, it, it looks like it's working already, which is pretty cool. So hopefully that'll work. Hopefully it'll just, hopefully it'll just work. That's, that's what my hope is. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go in here and we're in the game. I wanted to get, um, I wanted to get Crazy Friend to, to join us, but uh, he's not really feeling like it, so unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and get... I, by the way, I have this Crimson Lion longbow. I, I kind of feel like I, I might want it, but I've also... Oh, crap. I didn't want that. I don't want to do that. I wanted to... Um, I, I want... I really like the Shifting Sands longbow, right? It's a really cool longbow. And Crazy Friend Slacker, yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> Slacker today. And, yeah, I really like the Shifting Sands longbow right here. It looks so cool to me. It's just it's enormous and it's like sandy and stuff. But this is the Crimson Lion longbow, and I, of course I can only use one at a time, but I kind of like this one. If I don't like it, then I could just sell it, but... I might want it. I mean, if I sell it, it sells for quite a bit of money, actually. Uh, yet 15 gold at the moment. But I'm just not sure. I'm not sure if I really, truly want it, or if I want to, or if I want the money. I feel like the logical answer is just get the money because then I can get more like gifts of, uh, more gifts of venom and blood and totems and things like that, so I can get the gifts of condense. Uh, might and magic and stuff. Um, you see, um, Okay, let's see. I wanted to check the Black Lion weapons. Okay, I've got... Show me what you got. All right, so we got the Alchemist weapons. Those are that. And then also, they, they let you get the Zodiac... Oh, crap, that's five tickets for the Zodiac weapons. That's so much. Okay, or two tickets for the Devoted weapons. And I could... Like, these are the Devoted weapons here. That, that dagger is really cool. There's like some stuff floating around it, right? That is a cool looking dagger. These are the, the, the devoted weapons, okay? This is the longbow, all right. All right, we got the devoted axe. The longbow actually is pretty cool, honestly. Uh, what else do we have? We got the great sword. I don't, I don't really need to pay attention to great swords because I've got sunrise, so I'm fine with that. The devoted hammer looks pretty cool. I think I like entropy better. The mace, probably not. It's like, it looks like fake 3D. Kursuyam. Oh, do I have... 
Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you're talking about my mustache. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the devoted rifle. Okay, not too much into the rifle. Uh, devoted scepter looks okay, but of course we can't use it. And the devoted shield is pretty cool, but it's too small, right? A lot of these shields are, are cool, but they're just too small. Uh, pause. No. Stop. Okay, devoted torch is fine. The warhorn is... Oh, yeah, the warhorn is really cool. I like I like the warhorn. Looks like a trumpet or something, right? Currently, I think... Currently, my, my skin for the warhorn is the cobalt antique warhorn, which is a pretty cool one, right? I like these things that really look like they would make a lot of noise, but but the devoted one looks pretty cool. All right, so let's go into roaming here, because um, cause I'm ready. I'm ready for some World v. World. World v. World and chill. I am so ready. Okay. Yaks bend. World v. World and chill. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm stoked. Okay, um, Kusuyam and chill. Are you saying, for, are you saying I need to shave? Alright, because I need, because, I don't know, I don't think I really do. Um, okay, uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got, uh, let me just manage some stuff here. Alright, we're good. And I'm just making sure the stream is okay. If there are any problems with, uh, with the with like the quality of the video or something like that um, Cuz like I'm not actually sure if I'm getting the bitrate and everything correct then just let me know um, Okay, so I somebody wanted the link to my stream so Okay, so where can we go here? We can go to this supply camp. We can go to Heroes Lodge. Not too long of a timer on it. So, and also outnumbered right off the bat. Would you look at that? That's pretty cool. Oops, actually, I stopped. That is pretty cool. So we can do that. We got all our stances, right? I'm thinking about maybe making a build video for my World v. World build. This is not the meta. This is not the meta build. Uh, you know, people use the dagger shield and great sword and stuff like that. And I know, um, I know, uh, what's it called? Shin. This is a guy that I like to watch. Shin Ryuku. Uh, he uses hammer and great sword. I don't use great sword with spellbreaker. I just really feel like it doesn't really fit. And, uh, it's got good mobility and everything. But with spellbreaker, it's just, you know, you're not removing any boons with it and everything. And, and, um, and so I, I prefer to use dual daggers. So, this is definitely not the meta build. Um, Rampage also is not in the meta, I don't think. I think the meta involves the Signet of Rage, I think. Or per, per, potentially Winds of Disenchantment. Uh, but that could be in PvP. That could be in Structured PvP, where that is the meta. Because the Wind... With the, oh, hold on a second. The Winds of Disenchantment, you just put over the um, the capture point, and it's just like, boom, you know? Just, just like the thing. It covers the whole the whole thing. I'm gonna die. I didn't realize I'm fighting three guys at once. Whoops. That was, that was not, it's probably not the best decision. <laughs> probably not a good decision. Alright, so I'm gonna head over. Yeah, no. Let, let Red have it, because I don't have enough people with me. Um, I'm gonna probably head over here, and like, capture this. Um, <laughs> okay, finally this chat appeared for me. Uh, I saw a couple of... Yeah, good start, absolutely, you know? I just immediately go and just get gangbanged, right? Holy frick. All right, but no... no okay, no, things are going to be okay. Just, uh, you know, just uh, just chill, okay? Just chill. I might be able to stream for longer today, by the way, because um, I don't need to work. I don't need to work for a whole week. Super excited. Super happy about that. Gonna, um, gonna head over here and see about the sentry. I don't know if the sentry is still gonna be there. There's, there's a few. Look at this man. Red is just owning right now. Red is owning, and that's not good. We don't want red to be owning. We want red to be perishing in the fiery. No, stop. Getting a little too bad there. <laughs> um. 
you know, but red is owning right now. I got, I got a few of these, um, oh, I got a few loot boxes, by the way. I don't know, like, I don't know what it was, but I guess yesterday I got halfway through the reward track, and I didn't even notice. I guess there, I was there for, like, one extra tick or something, and I just got, I got the Luminate's cash. So, there you go. I mean, I got an Exalted Weapon Core recipe. It wasn't really a big deal. And then I got some Champion Bags and some of those Obsidian Refinement things. And, uh... And, but I kept the loot boxes just so I could open them today. Open them all at the end of the stream. Um, and no sentry there. So, probably been killed, maybe, by our guys. Hopefully by our guys. Because, and I'm at zero, per, I'm at tier zero participation so far. And we're still outnumbered, but probably not for long. Because these things don't always stay. Uh, but, hopefully, you know. I gotta grind, man, I gotta really grind through. I, this is, uh, how many days into the freaking thing? Right? There's, uh, hold on, there's seven chests, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven chests, and we're, like, okay, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're five in. Also, I'm going to die. Boom. Natural healing. Boom. I, I full countered. Was I, I don't think... Okay, dead eye. There's, there's a dead eye there, and it's probably gonna cause... Yep. Mm. Nope. Um, that was so bad. I didn't even get, look at, I didn't even get any participation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop it. I didn't even get any participation there. All right. Um, dang it, man. I didn't get anything this tick. Nothing. In the first five minutes, I get absolutely zero zilch nada. No reward track progress. No pips. Nothing. I gotta step up my game. Okay, I I want to capture something, but the problem is there's like everybody's in, in Zergs. They just gangbang me. Okay, Zergs are like just groups. I mean, they don't even have to be as big as a Zerg. It's just all it takes is a couple of them, right? Right? Okay, here we go. Kill these rats. Kill them. Take out my frustration on the rats <laughs> and the spiders. Man, I was watching the Olympics last night. Um, that's fun. I mean, I don't, I don't usually like sports, right? And uh, I don't even own a TV, okay? But I was watching the Olympics, and that is fun to watch. I mean, just watching the different countries compete. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm really not even interested unless the USA or Korea is co are, are competing. USA or Korea is competing? I don't know. But uh, I'm really not even interested in, unless one of one of those two is competing. Um, if they're not, then I really I don't, really don't care about how uh, the Netherlands does against Hungary. Like I right I don't <laughs> I don't care. But uh, we got some players over here, two players, looks like. Can we revive? Boom, revive. No stop stances. He's trying to he's going ham bone. Pretty girls in the Olympics. Uh, some are pretty. Are, are pretty. So the Korean ones, right? Oh, I'm gonna die. This I freaking gonna die again. Look at this. This is so bad. This is so bad. We got a couple of these guys. We got a scrapper and a weaver. This is so bad. How am I supposed to grind out pips? I can't even get a single little thing of participation. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna do this. Korean Koreans are the best. Well, I mean, okay, so. <laughs> I was so proud of Chloe Kim. Chloe Kim got the gold medal in the uh, in snowboarding in the half pipe. Um, so proud, and also Brittany Bow, the American, got um, got the gold medal on women's speed skating. That was cool, right? I was super happy about that. Uh, but but some of them some of them Americans did not perform so well. Like we got kicked out of women's short track speed skating. Um, so that wasn't cool. I mean, we, we just got knocked off. Uh, but after, but after the the Americans got kicked off of that, um, I actually I was I was really hoping that the Korean would get a medal. Um, Korean goal was was really good. Uh, yeah, we need Yana Kim as well. Yana is a, is she's good. She's good, but that's figure skating, right? I don't think she does speed skating. Um, but you no, know, the Korean she was doing really well. And it was looking like she was going to get second place and the silver medal. But then they reviewed the footage and it and turns out she made some illegal move. And um, 
And so they took, they knocked her off and then gave the second place, the silver medal to the Canadian instead, which, oh, that sucked so bad. I was really hoping she was so happy, right? Even the broadcaster started crying a little bit. Like, that was so, it was just so heartbreaking, right? Uh, there was a time, though, when, um, oh, what happened? Um, one of the, there was a male speed skater that did in the men's speed skating he got like he got third place he got the bronze medal that was the first time an asian uh ever got a medal in uh, in speed skating which is pretty cool um so that was the first that was a, that was history right that was awesome and um uh let me see darkest time okay tong tong sigya boseyo tong sigya I don't know what that means, but hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join the stream. Um, we got a yellow transcendent chest. Let's go ahead and open it for some rewards. Awesome. Right in Korean. <laughs> I don't know if he can. I don't know if he got the Korean keyboard. Hopefully, hopefully he does. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I find that really awesome. I watched the Men's Mogul as well. I don't, I don't remember the results of that one because I didn't watch all of them. Um, <clears throat> it was really fun to watch speed skating though, honestly. I, it was a lot more fun than I expected. I mean, the Olympics. Sorry, New York. <laughs> you gotta, um, you gotta get that Korean keyboard. Or the, uh, the Korean keyboard setting where you can like, uh, you do... What's the keyboard shortcut? You do like Alt Shift, and then you press right Alt, and it switches to Korean, uh, Korean stuff. Also, that's a bad neighborhood. That is uh, how many people? Maybe two people, but two two is enough to definitely kill me. So I definitely got to get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can hopefully bypass. Hold on, hold on, allies. Crap, we gotta. Oh crap, I'm marked. I'm a marked man. Hold on. One is, yeah, one is enough sometimes. <laughs> Savage sedging, look at that. Okay, uh, Rampage, let's see, here we go. Let's do this, let's kill. Let's kill, Mirage, boom. Mirages are cancer, well, there were cancer. They're not so much cancer anymore. Um, I I still don't know what that means. That's, that's my fault, though, that's not your fault. Okay, we got this, we got this, um, crap, what is he? He's a weaver. We got the Weaver. About to get this Mirage, right? Boom. Berserker stance. Immune to conditions for a second. Let's full counter. Oh, he's running. He's running. Let's freaking get him. I'm excited. Kill him. Maybe I can, can we get him? Can we kill him? I... He's gone. He's just running away. Come on. Stop. There we go. We got him. Here we go. Come on. He teleports. Interrupt. Boom. Wastrel's ruin. Oh, that was his clone. <laughs> that was his clone. I thought I was killing him. That was his clone. Just a greeting. Could be hello, but so many other things. Okay, very cool. I, I learned a new Korean word then. I, I think probably Sejin could translate what it, what it means exactly. Or potentially if some other Korean person is watching, that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's really cool. Learn a new Korean word. That that guy, man, we killed that Mirage so well. Oh, let me let's uh, let's go kill this guard here. We're not going to get in time. They're going to kill before us. But, and it's a Spellbreaker. Look at that, fellow Spellbreaker. Awesome. All right. Yep, I he's he might be using the meta build, uh, which is fine. You know, there's a reason it's a meta build. Uh, you know, he's using Great Sword, Sunrise. I have Sunrise, too. Awesome. But I don't use Sunrise. Try Anyang or Nyang Seyo. I mean, I mean... Well, Seji, he's Korean, so he probably knows that. <laughs> I mean, uh, let me see. Yeah, he's using he's probably using hammer, great sword, which is a good build, right? It's it's a good spellbreaker build. I don't find it very fun to play. Um, great sword just feels so slow to me, unless you just always have quickness, which is possible. Uh, like for example, um, it's it's possible like in a raid environment when somebody's um, keeping. 100% quickness uptime on you, but in like outside of that environment, you're probably not going to get 100% quickness. So, in that case, Great Sword just feels so slow. 
plus 100 blades damage was buffed in the last balance patch, but only in PvE. And I'm in World v. World, so... You know, you could do more damage, but it's for raids, right? That's why there is actually a meta Spellbreaker build for raids that uses Greatsword. And that was surprising to me, right? The meta, like, meta Greatsword for Warrior? That's insane. Also, that's a Ranger and their pet. I could, I potentially could kill this guy if none of his allies show up. Boom, stances. Die. Interrupt. Wastrel's ruin. Boom. Full counter. Oh, man. I can't trigger my full counter if he doesn't actually attack me. Boom. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. He's, yes, he's down. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. If he interrupts me. Yes. Good. When you come home, then, <laughs> I think he's just, I think he's just bored in New York. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I killed that druid so well. Thank you. That was awesome, man. We tackled that guy. We just tackled him. You know? Boom. Concentration would probably benefit us here. It would help with the vigor, and it would also help with the resistance, stability, and swiftness that we would get. In addition to these boons that we get from Rampage, it would make them last a little bit longer. That would be good. Also, swiftness on, on Dagger 5. I wonder if that would be a good thing to use. I mean, I'm, I'm still... Like, I'm not, I'm not really sure because, you know, this, this food that we're using right now is pretty good. This minus 20% incoming damage when you're stunned, knocked down, or knocked back, and also the subtraction to condition duration, that's, that's really good. That's a good bonus, okay? But, I might want to try something else. Mom had me here, never been there. You definitely should come sometime. It's, it's a really, it's really fun to be in Korea. Great country, honestly. Um... I recommend going to Gyeongbokgung. That place is awesome. Very cool place where I take all my... Whenever I have a friend that visits Korea, I've got, uh, you know, I take him to Gyeongbokgung. Um, okay, is there... But what, what's, the other, what's the other food that I was considering using? Crap, I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The, the fried golden dumplings are what I was considering. It was um, chance for might, 33% chance for might for 5 seconds on critical hit. That could be really cool. Plus 100 concentration. Let's try it. Okay, then we get, uh, it's still just 1 second for these boons. <laughs> okay, whoops. Okay, but we get some, right? And it's th 5 and 1 fourth second for, for, the, uh, for the swiftness on Dagger 5. Uh... I don't think anything else gives us concentration, actually, so probably that was just a little bit waste. Just just a tiny bit. Um <laughs> hold on, I got a best job. Hold on. Oh crap. Who's this? It's a daredevil. But it's also but there's also Oh crap. Hold on, get away, get away, stop! Stances! Yeah, I know, I'm dying. Crap! Oh no, stop! I don't want to die! Can I fight underwater? Like, I guess I'll take my chances underwater, because above ground I know I'm definitely going to die, but... Yeah, no, I'm dead. I mean, underwater I tend to fight, I tend to fight pretty well. Uh, also, I don't know what this... What is this? Do you see this? I'm just flying Superman! <laughs> Superman! <laughs> Oh my goodness, Superman Spellbreaker. I gotta take a screenshot of this. Hold on a second. Boom, I'm dead. And print screen. I believe that is. Yeah, that's print screen. Uh, or I could do Control Shift H to hide the UI, right? And then print screen. I'm gonna do that. That's, that's so funny. Okay. Also, did I? Yeah, you can see this freaking, this path. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um... How was your day? Um, well, it's morning for me. It's about 10.30 in the morning. And um, my day was okay. I mean, oh, look at this. I'm still doing this. What is this? Okay. Um, it's uh, So far, my morning was okay. My day yesterday was all right. It was, uh, I mean, it was work, right? Work is work. But, uh, but not too bad. Boom. And... <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so funny. I can't believe this guy's just frozen like this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's capture this supply camp. Um, I got home. I ate. Uh, what did I have? I got home and um, I had some chicken tangsuyu. And it was so good. It was really good tangsuyu. It was uh, this, this new place near where I live. I can't stop laughing at this guy. This new place near where I live, um, it, it's it got chicken tongue soup, but it's got a lot of different flavors. Rice cake soup, no, I did not eat that. Um, just tongue soup. And uh, the flavors that this place has are pretty interesting. We got, um, the flavors that I got were honey lemon and onion creamy, but there's also like tokkarbi and um, like deep garlic. I don't even know what the frick that is, but it sounds good. And, uh, and it's really good, like 21,000 won, which is like 20, 20 bucks or something like that. You get, and a, sorry, excuse me, I got the hiccups. And, uh, and you get this enormous amount of chicken, and then they include a free liter, uh, uh, sorry, one and a quarter liters of Pepsi, which is awesome. Can I actually attack like this? Okay, it's broken. The, the thing is broken. Um, it's, it's quite good, considering regular, sounds delicious, garlic is so good for you. Yeah, it's got, it's got pretty good health effects. It just doesn't have, uh, doesn't have very good breath effects. So, <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, this guy's got 12 seconds left on him. Look at this guy, got the, uh, the legendary backpack. Legendary back item, and he's a spellbreaker. Look at that. Would you look at that? Awesome. Look at this, all our teammates just waiting to take this thing. Um, yeah, I hope you had a good day as well. Um, you could tell me how your day was. I'd appreciate to hear about that. I'd love to hear about that. I got some pips. I'm now, also, we're now outnumbered, so we're getting this pip bonus. Boom, we got the bronze chest. Sell mouth, mouthwash there too. Yes, of course they do. Um, yeah. Uh, and I have some mouthwash, actually. I got, uh... I, I like the mouthwash with alcohol in it, honestly. The, um... And no, such and I don't drink it. I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> but, uh... I, but I like it. I just feel... It just feels... Feels cleaner, right? Feels like I'm cleaning my... Cleaning my mouth better when I use the stuff with alcohol in it. Yeah, I knew Sejin would comment about that. But, um... Uh, the... But they have alcohol-free mouthwash, and that's, I think, for people that have, like, really sensitive gums or something like that. And I can understand. Sometimes you got some, like, really painful disease, right? And you, like, in your mouth, like gingivitis or something, you maybe, it would hurt so bad. If you got, like, an open wound in your mouth, oh, that would suck, right? But I don't have that. So I get the alcohol mouthwash. It's the best. Best for me. And, uh... <laughs> Man, that was so funny. I just can't even... I can't get over that. My pose was just locked. And I was just running around with my fist up like Superman. <laughs> so funny. Um, but yeah, as I was... Um, I was actually talking before about how I was, uh, I was watching the Olympics. Um, Darkest Timeline, have you... Did you watch the Olympics? Because it was on... I'm, I'm pretty sure they broadcast it in America. I mean, I can't imagine why they wouldn't. Uh, very interesting stuff to watch, right? If you're in the chat, why don't you tell me uh, what team that you were surprised won or what team you're rooting for? I'd appreciate to hear about that. Day was actually pretty good. Worked out a bit and cooked Korean barbecue pork shoulder and kimchi jjigae. That sounds amazing, honestly. Pork, pork shoulder, what is the Korean name for that? I can't remember what, that's, uh, what that is in Korean. Also, uh, Veteran Creature Slayer is one of the dailies, so I'm going to go over here and kill this Ascalonian fighter. Also, we need to do that fast because of that group of greens. Holy crap. All right, got him. Did we... Did that work? I mean, I completed the event with gold participation, but it didn't give me the thing. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what is what is the Korean name for pork, pork shoulder? Because I'm pretty sure I've had it before, but I can't remember what it was called uh, when I ate it here. Very good. I mean, you get that stuff, and the kimchi jjigae as well. Oh, man. Absolutely perfecto, right? That's so good. I, uh, sometimes what I like to do is I, um, is, uh, there's this, uh, in, in Pyeongtaek, I live in Pyeongtaek, 
and there's a a Samgyeopsal restaurant, and I don't know, maybe that's what it is. What is pork shoulder? I don't know. <laughs> Um, there's a Samgyeopsal restaurant and it's just this pork, right? And they give you this grill in the middle of the table and they let you cook it yourself and everything. They bring out the raw pork or whatever and you cook it and they also give you kimchi with it and you grill the kimchi as well. It is so, so good. Grilled kimchi. I mean, that, that's better than, that's better than non-grilled kimchi, honestly. I mean, non-grilled kimchi, that's good, right? That's amazing. But then you grill that crap, and it is amazing. It goes so well with the pork. It goes amazing with the pork. And it's making my mouth water, honestly. <laughs> um, and then you get some of that... Um, oh, I already have a water bottle here. I was about to open a new one. You get some of that lettuce that they give you as well. And uh, and you put you basically you put the pork and the kimchi on the lettuce, and you eat the whole thing. That is... Oh man, I need to eat that again. <laughs> I need to go go there and eat that again. Um, I guess in other news, another thing that happened yesterday, uh, actually two days, it started two days ago, but it continued yesterday. My workplace called me two two nights ago, and um, they were like, you know, can you? Like we're gonna give you two more days for the next term, so right, so I'll be I'll working I'll be working four days a week instead of two days a week, so that's good, making more money there. But then, she also asked me if I would be all right with working late one day a week, and I like by late I mean she wants me to finish work at ten or ten thirty, and there's a problem with that because. I live so far away from my workplace, so the commute is quite is quite bad. It's it's like an hour and a half, and that's when you get the trains. Like when I'm when I'm currently going there and currently going home, the trains later they don't run as often. And the last train that actually goes toward Chunan, which I'm not I'm not in Chunan, but I'm that direction. the The last train that actually goes in that direction leaves at eleven twenty seven. But that means that I have to be at Suwon Station at 11:27 when I'm getting off of work at 10:30, right? And then I'm, I have to walk out the wind, uh, walk out the window. Don't walk out the window, kids. <laughs> walk out the door and go to Yongtong Station, right? And then I've got to uh, what is it called? I've got to go and wait for that train, right? I don't know when those trains are gonna come. And they tend to be more often than line one, but you never know. I've never been there that late. And then I've got to wait because then it takes like 20 minutes to get to Suwon Station at least. It could be 25. And so that's, you know, I'm going to be basically, even if I catch that train, the Makta, um, um, I, I had to read the chat real quick. <laughs> Let me just finish this thought. I'll respond to it. Um, even even if I take the Makcha, the last train going to Chunan, that's going to put me getting back to Songtan Station, my home station, at like almost midnight. And then if I walk home, it will, the buses aren't running that late. So if I walk home, then it will take me like 15 to 20 minutes uh, if I walk fast. Um, walking from the station to my house, right? So I'm going to be getting home at like 12.20, okay? <laughs> um, and then I could take a taxi, but that's a lot of extra money that I don't need to actually spend. And so it's just like either I waste some money or I just get home at almost 12.30. It's just like insane. Um, you say, can't recollect what it's called, but it's traditionally served with kimchi, like stuffed cabbage, okay? And with lettuce and gochujang. This might be called kimchi mari. Uh, yeah, kimchi mari. Um, could be. Are are you talking about bossan? Because that sounds kind of like bossan. Maybe Sejin could comment. Um, what are some pork dishes that are served with the lettuce? Or sorry, the, not the lettuce, the cabbage. Could I think it's bossan, but I I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't know. Um, so I I told her basically, and not only that, not only would I be getting home at like 12:20, but. I also, I wake up every morning at 5.30, and I do that because I've got some stuff to do around the house, 
I've got to, I've just got to be up early, right? I've got to I've got to do some stuff, including stream. So I told her that so we're probably not going to be able to do that. She said, "Do you have Do you even have to wake up early on Saturday?" And she backed me into a corner right there. So I said, "No, I don't have to be up early on Saturday." And she said, "Well, then maybe, maybe I could give you the later day on Friday, Friday night." And how would you feel about that? <laughs> Didn't really have a choice then. So it's like, yeah, I could probably do that. And um, I'm mean, not going to lie to her. And so, um, boom, you know. Can't follow too much English. I see. I think it's Busan. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yes, full counter. He triggered it. I still, I'm still going to die. This is a good weaver, honestly. Weavers are usually is usually quite squishy, right? But uh, this guy's good. He's very good. Uh, sh shoulder maybe Aptari. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. I mean, but shoulder is okay. But I don't know if you call it differently on a pig. Aptari just means in front of the legs for anyone that doesn't speak Korean. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, can we go and capture? We can go and capture Hero's Lodge, but that does have a timer on it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and kind of work our way around. We could we could probably work our way around, right? We could just go over here like this. I like this line. Actually, we would have to cross the bridge, so it'd be like this, <laughs> like making the line. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is our ally, and an enemy. Oh crap! Well, there are too many enemies. Um, probably cannot help that ally right there. Um, we got this range core ranger, okay, to be exact, core ranger. And we got uh, some of these Kessel caches, by the way. BT dubs. That's that spellbreaker with the legendary backpack. Look at his mask, man. Is that? He's wearing the Mad King outfit. Okay, that's an outfit. Or that's that's not an actual armor skin. That's just an outfit. We're good. We're fine. Just checking. Okay, when are they gonna allow mounts in uh, in World v. World? Can we please get mounts in World v. World? Cause, you know, I have I have all the mounts, and uh, you know, I kind of wanna kind of wanna use them. I even got the Griffin, man. Griffin was so so tedious to get that final part. There's a final part in the Griffin quest where you um, it's not a quest. It's like just a like a like an achievement or like a collection type thing. There's a final part. Where you're in like this library, you're trying to kill stuff, and that was hard to do. That was actually hard to do. The rest of the stuff was not hard. It was just kind of tedious. I can understand context of sentences and phrases, uh, read body language and emphasis enough, but can only speak a few words and phrases. If that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, that does make sense. Um, you know, you can understand a little bit of Korean, basically. You know, you can understand their body language, what they're trying to say. Uh, sometimes, if it's if it's not too complicated. But hold on, why is this? There we go. Um, but not not stuff that's too too complicated. Hold on, somebody said sounds good. Somebody, oh, hey peeps, sounds good. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. We got a dragon hunter. We got a regular guardian. Okay. There, what's the timer on this guy? Twenty one seconds. Don't worry about. It. Don't even worry about it. Okay, here we go. We've got it. We're going to capture this. Probably, well, I don't know if it'll take me up to tier 5, but it's definitely going to take my participation up. And then also next tick, which is in two and a half minutes, then we can get this next bronze chest. That'll be awesome. Boom. Kill this guy. Interrupt. It does, I don't know why it doesn't say interrupt when, uh, when I'm attacking these NPCs. Sometimes, sometimes it does. Sometimes, and it's supposed to say interrupt when you actually interrupt somebody, but it it doesn't always actually do that. Could be a bug. Could be I'm just not seeing it. It could, like, say it, like, behind them or something like that. Could put the text, like, behind them where I can't even see it. In which case, screw them! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna use this code and tonic, shall we? Let's let's use the code and tonic. Let's be this code and, right? Seek balance and embrace stillness. Steady your mind. 
All right. Um, yeah, the coden are all about balance. I'll tell you what. I'm going to balance your body on top of my dagger. <laughs> tell you what, that's. I'm going to balance you. <laughs> all right. Let's kill this uh, sentry over here. So glad I don't have to work today or tomorrow or the next day or like until next Tuesday. I'm so, so happy about that. Boom. Veteran guard. Boom. Sweet. We actually killed him before he needed to heal. We didn't even need to interrupt him. So pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. We are up to tier 5. That actually did... The, the kill, I think, brought us up to tier 5. I'm not, I'm not sure if it was the killer. Any fun plans um, for the extra time off? Um, not, I'm not sure. Um, I might... Honestly, I might go to Seoul. There's a chance I'll go to Seoul. Um, but I'm not... I'm not exactly sure. I might try and record some some other games for the channel. Um, that that could be fun. Um, I I got a message. Ask me if if the people in the chat are all American. Um, I know one of them is American. I know Sejin is Korean. Okay, excellent. Um, yeah, I might go to. I might. I might just record some fun games for the channel. Honestly, I'm thinking about recording more Caves of Cud just because it's fun. I know a lot of people don't really watch that series, but I need to get out of here. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's fun, right? And if it's fun, I'm gonna play it, and I'm probably gonna record it. So uh, there's that. I also there's a fun game that I have called Road Redemption that I might record. I'm dead. I'm just not, I'm not even going to try to escape this. They're, they're just going to over, overpower me very quickly, very easily. Boom. Dead. I'm dead. But you know what? Actually, what we could do, we could use this to our advantage. We're going to go to the bank, okay? Going to go to the bank and gain a miniature tonic. Because I, I have that. I have the endless miniature tonic. And we're going to use that instead of the coden tonic. Okay? We're going to see how that works out. Okay, boom. We're back in the game. I caught myself. I was saying boom in class yesterday. I was in. I was teaching the kids, and I'm just like, all right, and look at this, boom, and, and they're like, teacher, what is boom? <laughs> I'm like, it's something I say. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Okay, where's the miniature tonic? I could search for it. Instead, I'm just gonna look through my entire bank like a, like a guy. I know I have this thing. I guess I am just... Oh, no, no, it's right, it's right here. Okay, let me switch this out to the Code and Tonic. All right. And... Look, at there's a party going on in Say Chat. People are talking. Oh, this one cannot be used in World v. World. Well, crap. I actually wanted to use that. That sucks. All right, the, the Code and one can be used. You know probably why? Because... Tell them it's a song. And they... <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Boom, I want you in my room. Yeah, no, I'm not going to tell him that. Might be the obvious one, but I have to ask, what do you teach? Yes, I teach English. Um, that's that's pretty much the only thing I'm qualified to teach here. Um, I'm pretty good at math, but I'm not technically qualified to teach math because I probably need some kind of certification. Um, my visa does allow me to teach math as well. Uh, a lot of people have the E2 visa. I have a... Uh, I have a different visa. Video games. <laughs> I wish I could teach video games. That would be awesome. I sort of teach this video game on my channel because I have I've got like uh, build videos and stuff. Um. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've got all the warrior builds that I have, so I, in a way, I sort of teach video games. This has a 30 second timer. Oh, do I just run around here? I think I can just run around here and just get this like that. Boom. Okay. You teach English on your channel. Well, I mean, it, I guess sort of in a way I do. 
because a lot of Korean people know about my channel, so some Korean people could watch my channel just to like learn English, because I do speak American English, right? So, um, and a lot of a lot of Korean people, I mean, a lot of non-Americans um, use things that they can watch like on YouTube or movies or TV shows or whatever and they use that to learn English which is pretty cool and that and that could be what some Korean people do um, you know so I guess sort of in a way I don't specifically say stuff that teaches English like I don't I don't specifically explain grammar rules and everything but but I do sort of in a way um, it would be nice also to get like a private tutoring license like I mean, like, I'm qualified to teach any subject, technically, in, in English, as long as I teach it in, in English. Um, but, um, I, in order to private tutor, in order to privately tutor, I do need to actually have a private tutoring license. I'm trying to get that. Um, that's a little bit of a complicated process, I think, but, but I'm trying, and that way I can privately tutor people. How are you? A hundred won an hour? Yeah, definitely no. I'm uh, not gonna take that. <laughs> That's ten cents an hour. It's actually technically less. It's like eight or nine cents an hour. <laughs> no thanks. I actually, what I usually do is I charge. Um, well, what I want to charge. I don't. I mean, I can't yet because I don't have the license. But uh, what I what I want to charge is something like. 25,000 won an hour if it's just private one-on-one -on -one. and then if you've got up to uh, three people then it's 20,000 won an hour per person and then if if it's a class of more than three people then it's 15,000 won an hour per person so you know there's that um, okay next thing I'm gonna get is the Tome of Knowledge we're not quite there yet but getting there getting there soon and let's go this ahead and salvage remarkable. some of this stuff. And I did, I, I think the new subscriber alert is working. I think, I think it's working. I tried to, um, I tried to like test it. Basically, if you have your notifications on, then, uh, like if you have, yeah, I think it's, if you have like your notifications on or something like that, then if you subscribe, then it plays this animation. I changed the sound as well. There, there's a sound that plays when I get a new subscriber and uh, I changed it away from the default so so if, hopefully if I get a new subscriber during the stream then it will actually play the new sound pretty cool keep her yeah yeah her is like holy crap in Korean and uh, that little animation uh, plays when somebody subscribes and yes I did keep it how can I change away from that man that's such a that's such a cute little animation gotta keep that um, let's see what we've got here. Oh, we're, uh, diminished here. We're about to be... Oh, no, we still got the concentration bonus. We probably need to switch away. We, got, we probably gotta eat that saffron bread again. And we probably also need to buy some more tins of fruitcake soon as well. Um, as you can see, I got, I got some, some more money since last time. Something that's really cool is during you, is, is during Lunar New Year, it's so funny. You could, like, you could open these, these Divine Lucky envelopes and for one gold each you could buy 16 per day and and they're affected by magic find so so technically speaking if you had like a ton of magic find then you could open them and then you could get a lot of money back from them right you spend 16 gold and then you could make a lot of money back from them but if you don't have the magic find you could just sell them on the trading post i don't even know what's going on right now i'm just like i'm getting wrecked a couple of mesmers i think I think there was an elementalist somewhere in there. I don't know. But you could just buy the 16 lucky envelopes and then just immediately sell them on the trading post. And I spent 16 gold and I made 21 gold back. It was, it's awesome. Just, I don't even, because I don't have the magic find cap, right? Because you're supposed to go to the silver wastes and you're supposed to like get all the magic find boosters. You got the black lion booster and the item booster and all that crap. Um, I'm not at the magic find cap. I think the magic find cap is like, I don't know, 300 something, but, um, I'm only at 139 and you go and you do all these boosters or whatever, and then you open them all there and then you can gain tons and tons of money. But if you don't have that, then just sell them on the trading post and you get more than your money back. So I'm fine. 
Um, I also bought another, uh, I, I bought another like five Black Lion keys. I couldn't, I really couldn't resist. Um, and I got the, I got some Black Lion statuettes, right? And then I got the Crimson Lion longbow skin and also I got a Crimson Lion greatsword skin. But I don't pay attention to greatswords because I've got the legendary greatsword and that is just such a point of pride with me. I've got Sunrise, right? Sunrise is the legendary sword of the morning sun. It's just so cool. It leaves a, behind that sky in the background when you when you run. It like affects your footfalls and everything. That is just such a cool great sword. So cool. You could just fly off mountains. Did you have to win those wings? Um, it's basically if you own the expansion Heart of Thorns, then you can learn to glide, and uh, that's what that is. Um, the skins, however, the skins are something that you generally have to pay for. Um. But it's just it's just the skins. They don't actually affect um, how well you glide or anything. It's based on masters. Basically, you you get Heart of Thorns, right? That's the first expansion, and then there's gliding. Okay, glider basics. It's just one mastery point here, and then you just you unlock it. You can press jump a second time when you jump off somewhere, and it will glide. And you know, and then it uses your it uses like this stamina pool, and um, when it runs out, then you just fall out of the air. And um, you can also turn off gliding manually if you just press jump again. You can turn it on and off and on and off. Um, so what you can do to completely nullify fall damage is you could just fall most of the way and then right at the last second turn on your glider and then it will just completely just, just <laughs> eliminate the fall damage. Then next there's some other like masteries like updraft use. Lean techniques is where you can like speed up and slow down while you're in the air. And then you got stealth gliding where you can you can uh, press dodge while you're in the air, and then it will um, it will like make you invisible for a few seconds. And then advanced gliding is where basically you can uh, let me see. Advanced gliding is where you no longer use stamina to to glide unless you're like speeding up or slowing down, and in which case you do use stamina. But if you run out, then you just stop going faster or slower. It, you just glide at normal speed, and you don't fall out of the air anymore. And then ley line gliding is the last one, and that's kind of like a special thing that's only really used in PVE. Um, and that's where these like energy lines, and and they well, they're like sort of like tracks, and you could just take those things and glide along those. Also, I'm definitely gonna die here. I just I I went into the wrong neighborhood because I was explaining masteries. Stop! Stop! Let me kill you. I think, did I interrupt? I don't think I actually interrupted him. Is this a duel? Am I just dueling here? Boom. Okay. Oh, I've been, I've been like turned to stone or something. Okay. Can I just, can you just leave me alone, please? I just, please. Thank you. Okay. They just wanted to duel with me. That's it. The ally just, uh, just ran up and just revived him. I did win though. If they, if that was actually, if they were really trying to like kill me, then I would have, I would have died. But fortunately, they were just looking to duel, and I wasn't really interested. I just killed them, and then that's it. Boom. You know, die. Get away from me. But you know, man, I'm getting a, a call. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna take the call right now. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. They're gonna have to call me back. Um, okay, so let me see. You got other masteries, um, like other the other expansion gives you other masteries. Um, and if you have one expansion, you get like core Tyria, like central Tyria masteries, which are just like some simple things. Um, legendary crafting is really interesting because it allows you to craft the precursor weapons to legendaries. And um, legendary weapons are like, you know, I, I showed you one of them. The, the only one I have is Sunrise, and the precursor to that is called Dawn. Um, I would show you right now, but I don't, I don't want to, like, equip the greatsword and then get into a fight. I don't want to do that. Um, the, the precursor is called Dawn, and you, you can't just, like, randomly find it. But it's really, really rare, and so if you don't want to just, like, take your chances all the time and just try to find it, then you could just do this legendary crafting, and then you can just, um, uh, what's it called? Then you could just craft it. You could just craft on. Yeah, the phone was ringing. Nuka's AL. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. 
Did we already have this? I guess we already had that sentry point. But, I don't know. I was just trying to capture it. To no avail. Um, if you don't speak Korean, she asked who that is. But, like I said, not going to tell you. <laughs> Um, another thing is, like, okay, so the legendary crafting is that. Um, what else can you get? The, the Pact Commander is really cool. There's some interesting stuff here. You've got, like, Pact Mentor is, like, it's only one mastery point. You can, like, put a tag on the map that says that, hey, you're a mentor. You can help out new players or whatever. Um, let me see, productive downtime. You get some extra, like, bonus experience uh, when you're crafting and stuff like that. Supply line management, which is where you can access unique Merchants, Noblesse Oblige is when you revive allies faster and remove durability and downed penalties on successful revive. Okay, so, and if and if they're, like, lower level than you, um, uh, then, then you revive them faster. Yeah. And then Advanced Logistics is auto loot. So, basically, something drops loot and you automatically take it, which is pretty cool. Um... Let me make my way to this next ruin. Okay, boom. What other masteries do we got? And then, what's the other one? Oh, the other one is Fractal Attunement. Fractals are like endless dungeons. Um, they, like, increase in difficulty exponentially. The highest one is 100. Yoseo, Nuseo. <laughs> That's what I say when I don't understand who that is. Um, yeah, so fractal attunement gives you some extra bonuses in fractals. Like when you you when you complete them, then they give you extra rewards. And um, also, there's a there there are things called mislock singularities, and they like instantly repair your armor and things like that. Um, let me see here. Okay, boom. I got some pips. That was the tick right there. And I'm kind of close to getting this last bronze chest. That'll be good. I, I have to grind my way through. Gosh. I've got, like, today is, today is um, Wednesday. I, I basically have to grind my way through platinum today. <laughs> I mean, I can play a little bit on Saturday before reset um, for, like, a couple of hours before reset. Phone is, phone is awkward, yeah. Let me see. Oh, I got to correct somebody's English. Okay, hold on. And okay, and so I'm, I'm correcting, correcting English. Yeah, phone. Or sorry, yeah, phone is a little bit awkward. Sometimes text is better. I prefer text, honestly. I I don't really like talking on the phone. It's just like because I, I can't do anything else while I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you see with a waiver, uh, and hold on, and sometimes, hold on, and sometimes. Um, the waivers of some cases won't open. I think if they, I'm so, I'm sorry. This is gonna take like, just like, two seconds. Okay, just, just one second, two or one. Just count. Um, I think if they sent the case. Understand what this person is saying. Um, and that okay, if that happens again. Okay, done. And Maguma is in second place. So we're fine. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's make our way to this next ruin. Gotta get back into it. I gotta drink some water, man. I'm freaking thirsty. Did you ever notice people with bad breath love using the letter H? Hi, how are you? 
<laughs> yep, yes, I do notice that. Um, you know, like, how am I? I'm kind of trying to reel from this, from this horrible breath, right? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, um, I, I've had some personal experience. People just, like, eat garlic or something. People just, like, eat garlic and then they want to talk to you. Right? Just don't even talk to me. Just okay. Just brush your teeth or get some breath mints and then talk to me. All right? Just chill, chill out. Freshen your breath. It's horrible. Can't stand it when they try to do that. I'll tell you another thing I love eating is shabu shabu, and I think in English you just call it hot pot or something like that. It's basically where you, you like you cook soup and you like eat it as you cook it. You put you progressively put more and more vegetables and and um, bully. <laughs> you put vegetables and meat in it and stuff. Oh, that is so good. I kind of want some right now, but I I don't have the means to make it at home, so I have to I have to like go to this restaurant near me. It's just oh man. It's so good. That's that's something I like. I gotta stop talking about food. I gotta talk about something else. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, I'm getting a call. This person really, really wants to talk to me. Just just hold on a second. All right, we're good. We're good. We're all good now. All right, so we captured this place, and we're moving on to the next ruin. Honestly, if, if this were just gameplay, I've said this before, actually. If this were just gameplay by itself, then I, um, then probably it would be quite boring, but, um... But because, basically, the idea is that I'm just in the chat, right? I'm just chatting with you guys. It's just relaxing, just chilling out. And that's really why it's fun, right? I wouldn't want to do this by myself. I wouldn't I wouldn't just want to not stream this and just, just go around ruin to ruin to ruin, right? I want to at least be with a friend. By the way, take a look at this. Stone Mist Castle. There's only one castle in all of Worldby World. Maguma always gets it. I just love that. Maguma always gets so much castle. And it's always like always like fully fortified. It's just this is Stone Mist Castle and we always own it. Right? We're here, we own this keep here. We own Maguma Valley. Um And of course, you know, red is I don't know what red is. What is red? Crystal Desert, I think. And uh red has taken over a lot of this part, right? And then green is uh, Yak's Bend, and they've got a lot of this part. But Maguma always has the castle. Yes, has the ca have the castle and still lose. Well, the problem is that we capture the castle, but we don't capture a lot of other things. Like, okay, look at this. We've got the fewest amount of supply camps, right? We've got not the fewest amount of towers. These are towers here, but we definitely don't have, we're four behind number one. Um, we have the same amount of keeps as everybody else. So we have less of these two. We just have Stone Mist Castle. But then look at this. If you look at our uh, kill-death ratio, look at this. <laughs> look. It's 0.79 on Crystal Desert, 0.75 on Yak's Bend, 2.02 .02 on Maguma. That is what Maguma does. Maguma fights. That's We don't capture stuff. We just fight. And that's how we can still... We're in second place, Right? Oh, we're on KD again. Yep. Yep, I can't stop talking about it. Hi, KD. Still lose. We're not, but we're not in last place, though. Right? 
I think uh, a couple of weeks ago we were in last place, even though we had a because we were fighting Blackgate, right? We we're fighting Blackgate and uh, and I think Yaks Bend as well. Yaks Bend is not not too good at fighting, and um, and our KD was still above one, but Blackgate's was still higher. They had a higher KD. They capture more stuff and everything. You just we we're just we were in last place, right? Because the Axe Bend, um, the Axe Bend was just beating us out there, and and we still actually had Stone Mist Castle from, oh, um, uh, yeah. I kind of feel like I just stepped on a spider's egg sack and saw the little babies run out. Um, yeah, Sedge, I know you're playing. I know you're messing around. Yeah, I just, I yeah, I felt exactly like you just step on a mommy spider and then all the, all the babies run out and you're like, holy crap, that's uh, that's a problem I cannot deal with by myself. I need an exterminator, right? Uh, that's exactly how I felt when I saw all those reds. That's Crystal Desert. I don't really know what Crystal Desert is known for. I just know a, a couple of servers. I know that Tarnished Coast is sort of like, is sort of like a role role play server. And I know Blackgate is insanely strict about their world v world stuff, and they and they always like um, and they always capture everything, right? Stuff generally doesn't change hands with them unless they're playing against Maguma, in which case we still usually get Stone Miss Castle. Um, but they always win. Point is, and then I know that Maguma fights. Other than that, I don't really know a lot about the other servers. Um, you know, if somebody in chat knows more, perhaps you could uh, help me with the uh, the servers. Perhaps you could help me out. Oh, I got this. I got this uh, message. I didn't even see this. Uh, do you teach games too? Like in League of Legends, people pay people and they get lessons to get higher ranked. I wish I had good, had enough good tier to teach others because I play LOL often. I also got some more chests because we got we got the bronze chest. I think it's the final bronze chest actually, and we got some more reward track progress. So we get more loot boxes, more loot boxes to open at the end. Um, uh, let me see. very popular today. I seem to be only popular when I'm streaming. Like I like people only actually message me when I'm streaming. All other times I'm I message people, I don't get responses, right? Say, how's it going? No response for two hours. Right? I start streaming, phone blows up. <laughs> That's what happens. I got like three people messaging me on the <laughs> Um, Let me see. Okay, so let's go to this uh, ruin here. Boom. We're not outnumbered. We potentially might want to go to... Uh, to... Oh, look. Oh, yeah. People are queued here. People are queued. I might want to go to the Maguma Alpine Borderlands. Let's let's capture this uh, ruin and let's go to the Maguma Al Alpine Borderlands. We could capture some more supply camps. Okay, we're also probably going to make it into tier six because we're very close to tier six, it's highest tier of participation. Um, and if we make it into tier six, you know, we'll get more reward track progress and all that. Uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember what I was going to say. But we are into silver now, so that's good. We completed. Uh, two chests. We should be done with five. So I actually calculated. I did the math, and um, and you actually with these these things at the bottom here, you get world v world skirmish claim tickets. Um, you need those for the legendary armor, and and I I actually did the math, and I have I've calculated that you actually get half of them in the first five chests, and the other half. And the last two chests, because it increases so much. So, like, if you're looking, if you look at wood, right, the first wood chest or the first three wood chests, they give you three, right, three, 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 and eight. So you get a total 
of, what, 17. But then you look at the first diamond chest, that's 14 in just that one thing. And then, and you get, I don't even know the total, I'm not even gonna, well, actually, no, let me, let me just calculate, okay, because I'm just, I'm already, I'm too far in, okay. Um, you get 70 from the first five, and then plus an extra 20, so you get 90 from the diamond chest by itself, and then you get, uh, for the mithril chest, you get, uh, let me see, 65 plus 18 is, what, like, 83? 83, let me see, I, I think something like that, something like 83 for Mithril. So you get half of them. <laughs> you can only get a, a, a total of 365 tickets per per thing. Also, are we outnumbered here? Because we, we seem to have everything on lockdown. Is this person outnumbered? The person is not now outnumbered, but we'll try. Let's let's try and do some stuff. Try and make a difference in our world, right? Okay, boom. Uh, what is this? Presence of the keep. Hold on, that's plus five max supply. Hold on, this is another five pl uh, plus five max supply. Let's get some freaking supply. Let's go and and get some supply. Where? Uh, here's Supply Depot. Because we could bring it up to 21. We could actually bring our supply up to 21, which is not, not a very common thing. Boom. Now we have 21. I did not know it could go that high. Right? Because we got these world abilities. Okay? These are like how you become better in World v. Worlds. You like level up. You rank up. Okay? And then you, um, and you spend these points. Every time you rank up, you spend these points. You gain these abilities. And the supply is the supply master? No, it's um, it's supply capacity here, and you can increase it by a maximum of five. Okay, and that takes a lot of stuff. That takes 140 rank points to for the main one for the uh, the the whole thing, or 145 technically if you start at nothing. And yeah, I'm still not numbered. And so you can only cr increase it by a maximum of 5. I've seen Guild Objective Aura, which increases it by 5, so I was thinking, you know, the max is 20. Turns out, if you've got Aura of the Keep, that's another plus 5 max supply, and you get another, um... You get another 5, so you could actually bring it up to 25 if you have the full ability, which is awesome. Also, my crit... Look at my crit chance. 87% chance to critical hit. It's insane. I was just noticing, because this thing... Gives you vitality, toughness, precision, right? All of these things. Extra movement speed for Presence of the Keep. And um, and also the Guild Objective Aura gives you like the same thing. But, hold on, Yak Slappers Deluxe. Yeah, look at this, Slap. That's a guild that claimed this, this keep. And uh, Yak Slappers Deluxe, huh? What an interesting... What an interesting guild name. Um, I was... Okay, oh man, okay. Let's waypoint back again. Let's let's actually, um... Let's go, okay. We got this. Boom. Slap them. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> Yak Slapper. I, I really want that title. There's a title called Yak Slapper, and you can get it if you... If you kill, like, a certain amount of dual yaks. Let me see. I, I think I could search for it. Yak Slapper. Yeah, Yak Slapper. If you kill 2,500 Dole Yaks, then you get the title da uh, uh, Yak Slapper. I cannot believe that. Also, I think my viewer count is like out of sync again. So let me go and... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something new. I'm going to try and just like refresh the cache. Can I do that? Like refresh cache. Boom. Click it. And is it going to update? Let's see. It did. It did update. So I don't actually need to copy the link and paste it again. I could just click refresh cache and it works now. Very cool. All right. Slap them. Yeah, I want to. Okay, there's a, there's an invader over there. I can. And boom! Nothing! Another meme on this channel. Uh, here we go. Oh, there are a couple of invaders. Yeah, don't want to go there. What I'm saving up for, by the way, I've got I've got a bunch of world ability points. I've got three. What I'm saving up for is this war gliding. 
because I want to be able to level this up. It's going to take 57 total, but if I just get this one, then I can slow down in midair. And then the 17, that's going to be really cool. Um, it's, I mean, total 17. That's where you can now lean forward, um, which is, it, that's that's definitely going to be something I want to be able to do because it it's faster. Um, and then also you can evade while gliding. The thing the thing that's really awesome is the full thing where you, you don't use endurance anymore. That is the cool thing. Also, there... Oh, that's a bunch of invaders over there. And if you're wondering how I can see them on the map, it's because they're near a sentry. Those sentries that I go kill, they reveal you on the map to your enemies. So, it's good to be able to capture those. That way you can tell where the enemies are on the map. For a brief time. If they kill it, then eventually they will disappear and whatever. But, but if they don't kill it... When they, they usually kill it, because, like, it's possible to solo those guys. Um... <laughs> And it's not possible to upgrade it where it's just like a like a thing that intercepts people, but And I don't think they intercept supply caravans either. I don't think they do. But they might. Potentially. Uh let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go capture this uh, Star Grove. Still got about uh, two minutes timer, but that's fine. We can we can work with that, right? We can definitely work with that. Okay, and I can kill the other NPCs as well. We can kill the Doliax. Right, the Scout. I can't stand the Scouts because they blind. Scouts have blindness on them, and the blindness wouldn't... I mean, actually, no, the blindness is always bad. Like, I was I was going to say the blindness wouldn't be so bad, but no, it's, it's pretty bad, like, all the time. Blindness sucks. And the, um... They blind you, so you can't, like, you got, some, I got some really powerful attacks, like Wastrel's Ruin, and I frequently just use that attack, and it just misses, because I've been blinded. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is a Dragon Hunter, by the way. Yeah, still not outnumbered here, but I know we're not going to be outnumbered in Yak's Bend, because they're queued for that. There's actually a queue. People are waiting in line to join that map. 49 in the Eternal Battlegrounds. That's the middle map. That's this here. And there are probably so many queued up because we're trying to defend Stone Mist Castle because it's contested. See, I can't waypoint to it. I can't teleport to it, which means that it's contested. People are fighting over it, so you can't just, like, teleport inside. If nobody's fighting for it, then you can. You could just teleport to it, and that's fine. Um, but, yeah, while there's a battle going on, you got to go in from outside. you got to run there. And that wouldn't really make sense if you could just, like... If you're if you're fighting for it and then you die and then you just teleport right back here and just like it, then you, they could never capture it so it just makes perfect sense. Also, this guy is about to be off time, so let's let's go kill him. Let's go murder. Boom! All right. Oh dang! That dragon hunter just pulled the guy to him. Her. All right. Not bad. Yeah, look at this. Finale Resolve. Cool name. What what kind of weapons are those? That's a torch. That's a torch. What's the other weapon? I can't see it. Is that... Gosh, I can't even see it. Is that a mace? It could be a mace. Potentially. Perhaps. Perhaps. What I'm thinking about doing is after I hit the two hour mark, perhaps I will stop the World v. World and Chill stream, but I will play some other games. I'm thinking about that. Um, that could be fun. Perhaps play some Road Redemption. That's a really fun game. Um, we'll see. I have a lot of fun games. Okay. Oh, and we can capture uh, Spirit Home. So let's go over there. There's also a one of the dailies is a veteran creature slayer. So I'm gonna go over and there's a veteran creature over here. I know brown brown main camp. And if I go there, then I can definitely kill him. Oh, I'm pr I'm pretty sure I can kill him. I I hope. I hope I can kill him. Um, and I I had the name by the way I had the name of the stream to Spellbreaker World v World and Chill. I don't know if that's the best thing to name it. Um, I. 
think because I'm, I'm experimenting I'm still experimenting trying to see what more people see I'm gonna say I'm just gonna change it to just world v world and chill instead and and see how well that works we'll see also spirit home got captured by red which means it's on timer for five minutes so we're not gonna be able to capture that for a little while um, but we can go in here let's let's get these mod near boom oh dead wastrel's ruin just killed him all right Harathi Lancer, uh, okay. What do you do for Valentine's Day? Uh, I play games. <laughs> yep. Probably I'm not gonna get anything for Valentine's Day, honestly. Except, I could buy myself some chocolate. I could buy myself some, I love, I freaking love chocolate, alright? And... I'm just saying there's probably gonna be a huge chocolate sale tomorrow. Because tomorrow's the day after Valentine's Day. Can go get some, some chocolate for super cheap. Alright, let's see. Mon near Sage. When I was a kid, my mom used to get me a Valentine. Hold on, hold on. Eliminate the centaur threat. But there's no there's no veteran creature. Usually there is. Perhaps Hold on. Perhaps I have to complete this event first. The Centaur Threat. I mean, the centaur threat. Are these guys really a threat? Right? They're just standing around doing nothing. They're just standing around. Boom. Okay, can we. That's, wait, hold on. Centaur. Hold on, maybe that's the. Not expect such valor from one with two legs. You fought with honor. But. But I didn't fight you. Also. Let's hope that they don't come over here, because if they do, I'm probably gonna die. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, are they are they gone? I couldn't really tell, but let's just uh, work with this here. Boom. See, it said interrupt. It said interrupt when I actually interrupted them. I th I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to do. Also, I apparently did not even eat the uh, utility item. I got mushroom caches, heavy supply bags. Mushroom cache. Gotta get the cache. All right. Boom. Interrupt. I I don't I didn't see it say interrupt, but I wasn't really like my, the camera wasn't really in a good spot, so I don't know. It could have said it. Maybe not. I have to kill thirty. I have thirty centaurs. Okay, we could do this. I just want the daily. Once we get the daily, then we could just leave this place behind forever and always. I just, I don't care about it beyond the two gold. Right? Oh, he's got Frenzy. Wait, no, no, he's got Berserk. What? Hold on, hold on. He's got Berserk. I want to look this up really quick. Let me just go to the Guild Wars 2. Because that was called... It, it's got the icon for Frenzy. But it was called Berserk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. Okay. Um... Berserk, uh, effect, maybe? Berserk effect? Increased damage? Granted to some creatures when they take damage that drops their health below a certain value. Varies by creature and will not trigger from condition damage. Okay. So that's, that's probably what it was, but the effect is... The, the effect icon is not... Hold on, let's see if, if there's like Harathi something or Modnir. Modnir, no, um, Harathi, no, I died, did I, oh, oh yes, I died, I died from this guy, what, died from this Modnir sage, okay, let's see, watch, boom, let's, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna win though, he didn't get it, maybe it's a Harathi lancer, we did survive at least, okay, let's, let's see what we got, Let's see if we can get it to trigger. Is the the uh, the berserk thing, the berserk effect? Well, he's dead. He's just dead. Harathi Trampler. Maybe this will work. Maybe on him. No. What was that? What was the guy that uh, that did that? Monier Berserker. May oh, maybe the Berserker. Okay, that. Yes, Berserk. But that's a different thing. That's a different icon. 
Hold on. Can I check combat? Combat incoming something maybe? Let's see. Um, incoming. It didn't. No, it didn't change that at all. That's weird. Perhaps outgoing, outgoing buff damage, healing damage, interrupts, whatever. It didn't say what skill he used. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what he actually used. Let's let's try this guy. Boom. But he used it right there, berserk. I just I don't I don't know though. It's it's called berserk, but I can't find it on the wiki. Because <coughs> because they can use it whenever he wants. It's not because the, the thing that I found on the wiki it, it just says that it increases increases their damage and that it triggers when they get below a, a certain health threshold. But clearly that wasn't the case for this guy because he just activated it whenever he wanted. How about the Tamini Warrior? What about this? Tamini Warrior, can he activate berserk? No. Okay, maybe if I if I actually look up the the creature. Harathi Berserker, I think was his name. Oh, we got the veteran. Where's the veteran? Okay, so the veteran is gonna give us the daily. Veteran Modnir Beastmaster. Alright, here we go. He's coming in. He's coming in. Let's kill the sage first. Interrupt. Wastrel's ruined. He's dead. Okay. Let's get this guy. Let's freaking get this guy, man. Also, I wonder if this... Mage Bane Tether... Okay, I just... I wanted to see if Mage Bane Tether gave you the, gave you the cool effects in only PvE or PvE in World Be World. Because sometimes, like, a Dure Pain lasts four or five seconds in... In, uh... Okay, here we go. You will be broken. And, um... In, uh, PvE... PvE and World Be World, but in PvP it was balanced where it only lasts two, two, two and a half seconds. Boom, killed him. So, wait, what? Veteran creatures. Okay, wait. Well, oh, okay, okay, okay. It has to be a certain one. Kill the veteran harpy, warg, or worm located in the borderlands in World Be World. Be world. Harpy, warg, or worm. I know. I don't know where the harpy is. I know where the worm and warg are. They're in the desert borderlands. You know what? Why don't we just go there? What, what's my participation? It's still tier 5. Okay, let's go over to here. Because in Dust Whisper Well, I think... Or maybe it's Bower Farmstead? Oh, maybe it's over here, though. Maybe you have to go over here. Well, well let's try it anyway. Let's go to Maguma Border on the de in the desert borderlands, right? Uh, let's see. Let's try to play with people in the chat room. Okay. Um, boom. Just just uh, deposit some of these things. Just keep the inventory clean. Right? Clean it up. And we're going to see if we can kill that veteran creature. I want to get the dailies because <clears throat> dailies give two important rewards. Well, actually, three. Because when I'm doing this, I'm getting the transcendent chest, right? Which is where I gain, you know, some instant reward track progress. That's one one thing. The other thing, hiccups. The other two things, I get three, um, uh oh, three spirit shards. Spirit shards are a currency. You can see I have six hundred and six, and they're used for legendary weapons. And sometimes, like if you use ten of them, you can get this thing called an anthology of heroes, which will allow you to stat swap ascended armor. And, you know, so there's that. And then, that's spirit shards. You get three of those, and you also get two gold. And you can get that every day. Three. Three spirit shards, two gold. Sixty more. Sixty more. Oh. Sixty four until six, six, six. Yes, that's true. You got me there. I don't know where the veteran of Harpy is. 
Perhaps I'll find it on my way to the veteran worm. Wouldn't that be something? Trying to find the veteran worm, and we just find the veteran harpy, which is something that we need anyway. One of the things we need. The desert borderlands is actually the only borderlands where I don't have everything discovered. I've actually got everything discovered in the eternal battlegrounds, and everything discovered in the alpine borderlands. But in in this one, in the desert borderlands, I don't. I don't have the vista right there. I don't have a few points of interest. I don't have that vista right. And six 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 means awesome. I I think it means something else. I think there's something something else generally generally tied to that number. We got a mirage. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can take care of him. Boom. Oh crap! All right, here we go. Stances. Come at me, bro. Stop it, backbreaker. Boom! I interrupted him. Earthshaker. Oh crap! Oh, he's running away. Full counter. Oh sweet. All right. He actually triggered my full counter. Here we go. Kind of slaying. It means real awesome. Really no joke. I don't know. I don't know if I believe you. I don't know if I. I don't know if I believe that. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I know Sejin is not a liar. But Sejin, you're not a liar, but you do play. You play around. I don't know if you're playing. Um. Let me see. Look it up. Maybe. You know what? If you're telling me to look it up, I think I believe you. If you're if you're that confident, if you're like, hey, look it up, it's true, then I believe you. I trust Sejin. Um, all right, boom. Go over here, and let's check out what's popping. I, I was trying to get that veteran creature. Uh, perhaps we can go this way. If we go this way, I think we can avoid a lot of people. And which usually is not something I want to do. Usually I don't want to like avoid people, right? But and I am outnumbered, so that's good. At least we're outnumbered on the desert borderlands. This uh, this this creature's really got something going on, huh? There's <laughs> something up with this guy. He's just he's just content. And that he's so ugly. That creature's so ugly. The shot of our cool name. Very ugly creature. Just gotta say it. What a nice creature. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I I mean I don't know, look at that face. It's just look at all the wrinkles and just like ugh. I don't know, it just looks nasty. Um, <clears throat> I do like Dolyax, though. I'm not a fan of the Arid Dolyax. Um, but... Still, they're Dolyax. That Cliff Bat. He's probably going to try to kill me. Watch this. Look at that, he's chasing me. He was definitely made fun of in school. Yeah, probably. I, I Probably he's going, he's going to uh, school with these Marmoxes. Right? Marmoxes are like, hey, look, I'm ugly, but you're uglier. <laughs> That's probably what the Marmox. Look at this Marmox. What? Oh, crap. I didn't even try to attack him. That was an auto attack. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Now I have to kill you. Whoops. Dust Whisper Well. Okay, now it's green, which means it's on a five minute timer. It also means there's a player somewhere around there. But I know that if I, if I just keep going this way I could potentially go behind the supply camp and then find the veteran warg I know the veteran warg is back here it's back at this this far end of the map but but you have to like really try and find it I'm trying to get that so I can get the dailies here we go let's just go behind it no need to uh, to trigger any of these NPCs and it looks like the guy that was here the actual guy that oh uh uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, yeah, don't kill me, please. I really just want to get the dailies. That's really just what I want to do. Give me the dailies. Also, this is the only Borderlands where nobody's queued. Look at this. We got one person queued there. 
and 12 people queued in the Maguma Borderlands. Nobody queued here. 36 people in the Eternal Battlegrounds. This is the only... Oh, jeez. You got a bunch of green people over there, a bunch of red people over here. What is going on? This is not... This is not a good place to be. There's a warg. I need to I need to find the veteran warg. It's 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 uh farther back there. Somebody's killing the sentry, I'm sure. Somebody's there. Uh crap, there's a there's a green guy over there. Core Ranger, you know what? I bet I could take him out. Cause that group of reds is just like staying there. But I've got it. Oh, come on. Come on, test me. I dare you. He's going that way. Hold on. But you don't want to go that way. There's a huge group of reds over there. I, want, I really want to kill this guy. I really, really want to kill this guy. Hold on. Let me just drop down here. Boom. He's gliding. He's gliding because he's in green territory. This little, this little piece of land is green territory. And then if I make my way through the ruins, then I can make my way to the veteran worm. I'm getting closer to one of those things either way. Okay, boom. As soon as he stops, right? He's going to stop trying to capture a ruin. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. No, he, he's trying to get away. Stop. Don't, don't fight it. Just let it happen. Let the fight happen. Would you please... Can I just do this uh, shockwave here? Chinese, there are many internet slangs like number combinations. Boom. Hold on, I gotta kill this guy first. He's just, what, what's this? He's just lying down and letting me kill him. He's, are you kidding me? This guy's just letting me kill him. Boom. He's dead. It's usually is, okay, hold on. Uh, like number combination used in abbreviations such as 666, 88, 2333. Today I'll introduce you 666, 666, and web terms means that, 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 or that, that, that in Chinese. It's usually just used to describe someone or something excellent or amazing. Actually, 666 has been generated for a long time. The specific time is not clear. Okay, and it became popular and was used widely in, in LOL, okay. For example, if someone plays quite good in the game, you could say 666 to him. Okay, I did not know that, actually. But thank you for explaining that. As soon as you said look it up, I believed you. Totally. I totally did. That is something interesting. Learn something new every day. Okay. And we've done that. We've captured this ruin. Killed that ranger, right? Alright, so... Here we go. I'm thinking of changing this helmet, right? I kind of like this helmet, but at the same time, like it's a little too black for the rest of my armor, right? Because I'm, I'm using the absolute blackest dye in the game, and and the War Beast armor just this is the armor I'm using, the War Beast armor. It just makes it look gray. I think it's just too shiny, and that's it's fine. It looks good on the War Beast armor, but then on the other on the helmet, it's just too black. I might have to just change the, change the dye. This is usually where the veteran worm is, actually. This is where it is. It's up here. Uh, but perhaps somebody recently killed it? Not sure. Let me just go over here. Kill this worm. Right? Okay. Kill that worm. Just waiting for that. Oh, and that's a red. It's a red guy. He's a, she's a core mesmer. Okay, core mesmer. Here we go. Here we go. Die. Let's fight. You want to fight? Bow. She sat down. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just auto attacking. Yeah, push her off. If only I had the skill kick. She's just trying to run away. She's not even trying to fight. Look at this. What is the deal with these core classes just trying to just trying to run away? You know what I bet? I bet she was just trying to find the uh, the veteran worm. I bet that's all she was trying to do. Push her off. 
Maybe I could go, maybe I could do, I may take kick. Some terms have been ruined for any other meaning because of how synonymous it became with the other. Like gay will never mean happy again. Intercourse will always have a sexual indication and 666 will always per be perceived as the, yeah, the mark of the beast. Yeah, it's the, or the number of the beast. Yeah, that's true. It's like, or, or how the word queer used to mean weird. Right? And now it's like, and now it's like, in some cases, it's used, like, as a derogatory term, and then, in some cases, it's used just as a descriptive term, but not, not to describe weird. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I kind of see what you mean. They, they kind of drift away from their original meaning so far that they just, they, they can't go back now, at this point. But still, I think in, in one of my poems... Uh, in the past few months, I think I actually did use the word gay in it to mean happy. Um, just because it fit. It was just a good word, right? Sometimes you just gotta use the right word. You just gotta say, you know, the person reading it is, is probably just gonna understand, right? Also, I have no idea where this, this worm is. Um... Yes, retard used to be the abbreviation of mental retardation. Also, I, I think Sejin clicked that. Sejin, did you click show? Because that originally was hidden. I think I think moderator, because Sejin is the only moderator of this stream. I think moderators can click show or hide on the chat. But well done, Sejin. Thank you for clicking show, if that's what you did. I generally allow any kind of message unless it's starting to get a little crazy. Like if people are just like being blatantly racist or something. Uh, yeah, retard used to be the abbreviation of mental retardation. That's absolutely right. Um, also, also believe it or not, the word idiot used to used to not be just an insult. Usually, it, it used to be like an actual term. Like, I'm sorry, miss. Your son. I'm afraid your son is an idiot. And <laughs> you're like, no, my son. <laughs> Oh, this is one of the arid doliacs. Oh crap! We got a red player over here. That's a core ranger. I think. I think that's not the same. That's not the core ranger we encountered before. This is an arid doliac. This, they still look cool, right? I don't want to be an American. Oh, I love that song. I love that song. Honestly, I sing that in Norebang when I go to karaoke. I always sing that song, "American Idiot." That's that's usually one of the first songs I sing. Green Day. I love Green Day. Uh, another one that I sing, um, if they have it, is Good Riddance. That's a good song. Um, what's some other song? 21 Guns. 21 Guns is a really good song. If they have Boulevard of Broken Dreams, I'll play it. But, uh, oh crap, we got a couple of green. Is that, hold on, is that just one Mesmer? Or is that, I can never tell. I think that's just one Mesmer. Good rinse is so good. Yeah, it's it, it really is. A lot of people think it is I a lot of people think it has a positive meaning, but it it doesn't. Um like a lot of people play it at like graduations and weddings and stuff, and it, it's kinda like it has a connotation like kind of vaguely about a, a breakup. Probably not the kind of song you want to play at a wedding. Another song I love is uh Link or not not song. Um Another band I love is Linkin Park. I know, I know. Cliche, but I don't care. I really like it. I really like Linkin Park. It was, I was so sad when I heard about Chester Bennington, man. <sighs> Been listening to them since since um, fourth grade. Quite a long time ago. That was um, that was fourteen years ago. I've been listening to Linkin Park for fourteen years. You know, not the entire time, you know, but but still, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Lincoln Park. Boom. Let's just, can we just kill this guy, please? This scout is, is just annoying me to no end and needs to die. Okay, look at this. Can we make this a three-way battle? We got a core Mesmer versus a core Ranger. Boom. Can I join in? Is there a timer on this? It's yeah, there's still a th three-minute timer. But the thing is, the, the NPCs are on the side of the uh, the, the uh, core Ranger. So, what you got to be careful of that. 
I don't know. The in the end is of course. I mean, that's that's everybody's favorite, right? Every, everybody loves in the end by Linkin Park. Um, I really like the song Castle of Glass. A, that's a good song. Battle Symphony, good one. That's one of their newer ones. I used to be of the opinion where like, oh, I only like their their older stuff. But as I listen to the other stuff, it's just gotta like you gotta keep an open mind about it and try to adapt to it. And and it's they're still good, right? Kind of like Born in the USA, but yeah, exactly, by Bruce Springsteen. Everyone sings it like it's a patriotic song, but actually it's the end. I don't know if it's an anti-America song, but it was definitely, it was anti-war. Like, it was anti-Vietnam. Um, definitely something disagreeing with America. Uh, I don't know if it was like, like anti, like America's bad, but I think it was more like America's doing something wrong. But, but yeah, you're absolutely right. People... People think Born in the USA is a patriotic song when it's not. Okay, now I'm wondering about what this is, what this battle is all about. We've got this core mesmer that's green and a core ranger that's red, but but the but the red, that's the NPCs here. We also have a... Oh, Scourge, no. Nope, bye-bye. I'm going back, seeing if I can find that freaking worm. <laughs> seeing if I can do that. Jeez, man. Nope. <laughs> Looks dangerous. Don't do it. Yeah, no. The scourge, scourges are um, are tough. They're tough, t tough to handle. They've got what are called uh, sand shades, and they just summon these these things. And um, they've got a big AOE thing, and they just is it? oh, that's the veteran. Sweet. All right, here we go. Boom. They've got these sand shades. They inflict basically like every condition in the game on you, and uh, and it's tough. It's tough to counter it. They can inflict fear on you. Fear just makes you involuntarily run away. It's funny how this me and this other player are not even working against each other. I also ranked up. Very cool. Look at that. He doesn't even want to fight me. That's a spellbreaker. But yeah, it's it's tough to 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 counter scourge. It it's easier now than it used to be, but it's still tough. They're still powerful because they nerfed them. Okay, I got two thorn gauge, three spirit shards. Right, we got the two gold. <laughs> yeah, I mean, occasionally I just make somebody run for their lives, but I think it's more. <laughs> More because they just see that I'm a spellbreaker than anything else. Spellbreakers are pretty good too, currently. They uh, it takes some skill to, to play. Definitely, uh, you know, spellbreaker takes a little bit of a little bit of skill to be able to um, to uh, to play the build, especially if you're not using the meta build. Meta build is just great sword hammer, right? I'll I'll equip the the, uh, the great sword real quick just so you can see. Secondary, just in case I get into a fight. Great sword is basically like this. This is the auto attack. It just feels so slow. And then hundred blades is this, and it it just feels so so slow. Where's the other guy? He left. He jumped off the cliff to get on, to get away from me. That's hundred blades. And the reason why it's a mobility weapon is that you can go the run around offline guy. I I don't know. Oh, Ice Plank! Ice Plank. Yeah, usually he's hanging around the Alpine Borderlands. Um, usually he's, like, on here or, like, over here. Um, I haven't seen him yet, but uh, but probably if I hung around those areas, then I'd probably see him. The reason why people say um, uh, Warrior Greatsword is the mobility weapon is that Greatsword 3 is this, so you can move around the battlefield easily. You can also throw the great sword, and it becomes and it cripples the enemy, so like they move slower for four seconds. And then you can also use rush, which removes immobilization if you got the trait, and it goes super fast. Boom! Hold on, boom! For a long time. Okay, so it actually it's really good for like chasing people or potentially running away if you're trying to disengage. So that's why people say great sword is the mobility weapon. It's not the damage weapon. It's not the quick weapon. And it's not the utility weapon or anything. It's not the CC weapon. It's the mobility weapon. And that's... I don't know why my guy's holding it with one hand. That's BA, but... I can't do that. Okay. Hammer is the CC weapon. Hammer is the control weapon. You want to control... Uh, you want to control and just absolutely abuse the other... Um, 
not the pretty weapon either. Hey, that's a legendary, okay? That took a lot. That took me five years to make. I mean, technically, I didn't actually play for five years straight, but the game came out in 2012, and I actually made it, like, at the end of last year, so. Uh, hold on, I have to eat, I have to eat this uh, food item. Food and utility. Boom. Boom. Okay. That was tough to make. Um, yeah, the hammer is the control weapon. You want to absolutely abuse other players and just not even let them get up. Um, then hammer is the weapon for that. You got staggering... Well, basically, you got hammer 2, which is weakness. Weakness makes you do, like, uh, I think... I think it's like... When you critical hit, it's like 50%... Of, no, hold on, no. 50% of your hits do half damage, I think is what it is. Um, and I think it makes you... I think it makes it impossible to critical hit. I'm not sure. You also get reduced endurance regeneration, so they can't... Uh, they can't dodge you as much. And then you've got this one, which cripples them, so they can't run away. That's a shockwave, so it's actually a little bit of range. And then you've got staggering blow is an AoE knockback. You just spin around, and it knocks everybody uh, up to five people back. And then for single target, you've got a two-second knockdown, which is backbreaker. Boom. And then the the F1 is Earthshaker, where you can actually leap in the air, and then it will daze them. I don't know, stun. Stun is different from daze. I think I think the difference is that with with stun, you can't use skills or move. Daze, you can move, but you can't use stuns. Jesus, kids, just sent me a message. Subscribe or else. LOL what? And the crazy thing is he has four videos and 700 subs. Holy crap, man. I wish I could get 700 subs for four videos. But it's probably... It's probably sub for sub. It's probably it. Yeah, report. Ugh. It's probably just sub for sub. Just that, that number's increasing, but the people don't really watch his videos. If you look at the amount of views on the videos, this that'll probably tell a different story. If it doesn't, then I have no idea what happened. Okay, we got the next... Uh, is this silver? Is this? I think it's bronze. I think we're still in bronze. Oh, no, we're in silver. We're actually... <laughs> we're almost halfway through silver, actually, and I didn't even notice. Boom. And we're probably going to end the Guild Wars 2 stream, but uh, if you guys want, I can continue playing other games on stream. Basically, just let me know in the chat if you want me to continue playing other games. Um, I can't play World v. World for too much in one day because then I get, like, burnt out. What won't report you, just a stupid kid. <laughs> yeah, well, true. But, but 700 subs, that means he's had some kind of luck with that, right? Means he actually is using that tactic. But yeah, what do you guys? I, I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to? Do you guys want to see like uh, like another RPG? I could play some Caves of Cud. I could play. What other games do I have? I have Ballistic Overkill. That's an FPS. That could be fun. Um, I've got. Uh, geez, what do I have? I have so many games. N plus plus. We got Road Redemption. That could be an exciting game. I think I might do Road Redemption. Road Redemption is just uh, kind of like a... It's kind of a classic style game. Mandero Haseo. Maybe they're all scared and did it out of fear. Road Redemption. Alright, that, that settles it. I'm doing Road Redemption next. We'll just wait for one more tick so that we can get these pips. We're actually no longer outnumbered. Maguma is just on fire right now. Everybody's in Maguma right now. Everybody on Maguma is on. Uh, let's see what we got here. Now, when I actually change games, it is going to stop the stream, so don't freak out. Because I've got to, like, stop the stream and make sure that it, like, registers that, that that entire thing was the stream. And then, instead of just continuing. Because if you just, like, if you just stop and then start again right away, it thinks that it's part of the same stream. So if I change the title, then it'll just make one super long stream with the newest title and description. So, yeah. We'll be right back then. All right. Sounds good. 
So we're just going to wait for one more tick. And then we're going to open the loot boxes. That should be an interesting thing to do. Also, we need to deposit these magnanimous sharpening stones. Yeah, I'm really excited for Road Redemption. I think I got it set up with the with the controller, so I think I can use my Steam controller. Potentially. Yeah, let's definitely change away from the team chat. I don't want to see... <laughs> Maguma team chat gets spicy. They get very spicy. Man, I couldn't believe it. Some guy on Facebook trying to call me a racist because I had an opinion about the current state of Korean politics. I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. What's... I... I mean, what? I'm trying to call me? I mean, I don't. The guy's not even Korean. Like I, 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 and the thing is, he like he screenshotted my comments and stuff, and he like put it on his profile, and and then he screenshotted my profile on Facebook, and put that on his profile. I was like, what? This guy's weird. I reported him multiple times because I reported like multiple things, like his comments, right? He's like, are you a white American? And I'm just like, why is, why is that relevant? I've lived in Korea for years and I speak the language. And why is it relevant that I'm white or that I'm American? And then he just comments, your whiteness is showing. I'm like, yeah, that's the color of my skin. It tends to do that. I just, just got to report him. You know, foreigners. I, I, I really don't even think he's even Korean. His name is like, I can't even remember what his name is. Hold on. Let me see if I can check that right now. Ro, Ro Ron. I don't, and it, if you go to his profile, it's, it says it's like a fake profile Um, for ticking off racists imperialists and capitalists but nothing about what I said was any of those three I just said basically I said that Kim Jong-un was trying to trick Moon Jae-in by saying that we'll, hey, we'll have closer relationship if you stop the, the military exercise between, uh, between you and America uh, all I said was that Kim Jong-un is trying to trick to trick Moon Jae-in that's it it was okay not, that was not racist nothing about race was mentioned that was not imperialist because what's wrong about just training your military with an ally there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing imperialist about that and that's not capitalist either but either way what's what's even wrong with capitalism <laughs> i mean i'm a capitalist but nothing about what i say or what, nothing about what i said was capitalist anyway you just there's nothing I, I just don't understand. I'm just confused. It's really all it is. All right, so let's open these loot boxes here. Um, we've got the thorned caches first. Uh, let me actually go to my bank just so I can... Also, I got some experience randomly. I'm not really sure why, but... Uh, here's the bank. Boom. We've got the bank, and let's deposit these magnanimous sharpening stones because uh, they are uh, quite hard to get. Quite expensive really and where are they oh here they are boom magnanimous sharpening so that's for my um that's for my doliac spellbreaker build um when i'm trying to you know get uh, super powerful or when i'm really trying to optimize it okay so let's see let's uh salvage this boom, was manufactured to the highest boom. and all right so uh first of all we got the thorns caches but before we open it, I'm going to see, can I sell something here? Can I please, I, I need to sell Until something, take me to just a regular merchant. A regular merchant. Can I please, okay, good, I can sell. All right. Sold some junk, sold some junk items. Not sold. Okay. We've got thorn caches. Let's use them. Boom. We got some heavy thorn bags. Boom. All right. So let's, uh, let's move all this stuff that we could deposit here. We got some spikes here. And we're going to salvage that. <coughs> All right. Oh, my throat's dry. Hold on one second. Okay, much better. 
Salvage this, salvage this. We got some mithril. We got some luck as well. Let's keep the luck here. And that's just the tens. Here's the fifties. Alright, let's we got the chest of the mists. Let's do that. And we got uh, how many testimonies of heroics? I can't see. Hold on. Eight. Eight is a good amount. Alright, excellent. Let's get this crafting material coffer. We got some blood and some gossamer and some leather. Okay, we got six heavy supply bags. We could sell these technically. You could; these are something that you can actually sell on the trading post, and you could sell them for uh, four silver each. So we could make twenty-five silver. We're not going to, though. Uh, we are going to instead just open them. We've got some bones and some silk. All right, two mushroom caches, mushroom cache. Um, some people are saying stuff on Twitter, and I don't care. Um, we got the mushroom cache. And, whoa, we got an ascended ring. That is not common at all. We also got some ectos, so here we go. Crap, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I salvaged the ectos. Crap, I didn't want to salvage the ectos. That wasn't my intention. <laughs> Dang it, man. I salvaged them. That's fine. We got a bunch of luck, and we got some crystalline dust as well. All right, so uh, veteran mushroom cache. Got that. We got some obsidian shards. Let's go ahead and put those over there. We got an heirloom seed pod, which we can use. We got some bloodstone dust. We also got another rare. Let's put the uh, bloodstone dust and stuff like that over here. Interesting how we got that now, that uh, ascended you. ring. That's something I already had. The lost seal of Usoku. That is, uh, it's, it's power, toughness, and vitality. Yes, I already have that one. So, that's fine. All right, uh, the Quetzal caches. Cache. Okay, we got some, some more junk items. Uh, let's go ahead and salvage this rare. Let's hope we get some Ectos. We did not. Gosh, we salvaged those Ectos by accident. All right, uh, heavy loot bag. We got uh, a Venom Sack. Soaring in caches. Nothing, yeah. I'm getting a lot of nothing. Um, scales. Some more stuff to salvage. Uh, gilded strong boxes. We Oh, we got a special. We got a, like a rare scale. We can do that. Let's uh, move that here. The really rare stuff. Like the rare materials, let's move over there. And I also got some some more pips. Let's the let's go ahead and salvage these things. Ball. And we got some more stuff here. Uh, that's wood that we can get. That's elder wood, I think. Yeah, elder wood. And this is another thing we can deposit. Boom. And some bloodstone dust right there, but we'll just leave that there. Okay. And bag of gear, which I kind of expected that stuff from the bag of gear because that's gear. And, okay, this is another thing I could deposit, the Onyx Core. And five Miss War packets. Let's see if we get anything from this. Hopefully we do. Let's see. Boom. Nothing. Okay, dang it, man. We got wool. We got cotton scraps. We got the seasonal wood logs. We got linen scraps. And we got soft wood logs. Okay. And let's get the uh, Testimonies of Heroics, which we get every time. And I wonder how much we actually need of those. Um, what is it that we actually need from those? I, I can't remember. Testimonies of Heroics. Let me just look that up really quick. Um, and while I'm doing this, we can just go over here. So we got a 48 luck, or 480 luck, and then we got 100 from this. We didn't get any of the higher tiers of luck. We did, however, get some stuff to sell. So we will sell all the junk items. Sell that. The minor runes of the eagle. Major rune of Grenth. And then we can actually salvage the Ascended Ring. I don't remember exactly what we get from salvaging Ascended Rings. I think we just get stabilizing matrices. Uh, if I remember correctly. But I can't remember exactly. So let's just see what we got. Um, where's our Ascended Salvage Kit? Look at this. I got another Lost Seal of Usoku. I've got that, right? I've got this too. Uh, and I have two uses on my Ascended Salvage Kit, so let's just use it. Boom, we get uh, three Stabilizing Matrices, and can we use this as well? Can we just use this? Can we just end it End it right now? Boom. Whoa, ten! We got ten Stabilizing Matrices. We can actually sell these if we want to. We can gain uh, almost four gold. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep them because I do need those at some point. Okay, and then we've got uh, these rare materials and all that stuff. Basically, uh, 
you know, that's that's fine. We just got the rare stuff. Um, so that's going to be the, the end, I think, of Guild Wars 2. We're going to play some Road Redemption, so stay tuned. I'm going to check, and, and basically it's going gonna, it's gonna to upload this stream to YouTube, and then it's going to... Um, can we wait for one more one more tick? One more tick and get some more pips. It's going to upload this stream to YouTube, and then it's going to process, and I think once it actually uploads, and while it's processing, I think I could do another stream and then have it be different. So I will use that time to like to like set things up and make a thumbnail and everything. I'll make a new thumbnail. And um, so we'll end up doing that. Uh, but until then, I want to thank you to everyone that is tuned into this live stream. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in a bit.